The day before it was set to expire, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has extended restrictions on non-essential travel at the U.S., Mexico, and Canada border crossings. DHS says the restrictions are in place to slow the spread of COVID. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in downtown El Paso with a look at how the restriction is impacting El Pasoans and why the county judge says bridges should reopen. It's been almost a year and a half since the border has been restricted to essential travel only. Now, I spoke with a business owner who's in downtown who says business has been slow ever since. I also spoke with a family wondering why their vaccinated relatives can't cross to El Paso. The owner of this security camera business near the Stanton Bridge in downtown says 60 to 70 percent of her business used to come from Juarez and things aren't getting better. Well, it's very terrible because uh, people is not crossing the border. Another El Pasoan, Daniela Galavez, crosses to Juarez regularly, but says her family members can't come to El Paso, not even for important things. My uncle, his, one of his best friends, his mom just passed away this week, so we, we went to his funeral in his um, behalf because he couldn't cross. According to the Department of Homeland Security, the extension of non-essential travel restrictions is to minimize the spread of COVID-19 and the Delta variant. But Galavez thinks there's ways for Mexican nationals to cross safely. I think they should be able to come because us here in the U.S., we are able to go everywhere because we got vaccinated. So what's the difference? They got vaccinated already, I guess, with their car vaccination card or proving that they already got vaccinated and they haven't had COVID in 15 days. El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego saying he thinks El Paso has a high enough vaccination rate to handle the bridges opening for non-essential travel. We're sort of holding a situation that's going to happen now or it's going to happen later. And right now our numbers are down and we can address it a little bit better. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen in September or if, if it's random that they do it while well, well, the numbers are really high. Uh, right now, they're manageable. County Judge Ricardo Samaniego urging those who plan to cross the border once those restrictions are eased to get vaccinated now, saying he's already seeing some hesitancy with those essential workers that are able to get vaccinated at the Tornillo Port of Entry not wanting to. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Now to 